Hey everyone, my name is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com. This is where I email out weekly strategy tips to over 10,000 subscribers. So if you want tips like this in your inbox every Tuesday morning, head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. And while you're watching this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so today's tip is going to focus on Google auto suggest keywords. Why are auto suggest keywords important and why should you try to rank for them? Well, they actively Google actively funnels people into these searches. They're more specific. They have higher intent and they're easier to rank for. So why not? Right? So today's tip is going to show you two things. First it's going to show you how to get more valuable auto suggest keywords. And then secondly, it's going to show you a not completely automated way, but a more efficient way to gather these keywords and, Arguably, I think you can be more specific um, using this method and collect them relatively pain-free. And since this is not something you have to do on a regular basis, it doesn't always make sense to have a fully automated solution. But there are some out there, and I'll talk about some in the note just um, to give you an idea. But today's tip is going to focus on a manual yet efficient way to do that. All right, so cool. We have now the keyword, how to sing up on the screen. You can see here that Google starts to predict how to sing better, how to sing high notes, how to sing from the diaphragm, etc. This is great. Um, this gives us <clears throat> you know, a bunch of um, interesting keywords right off the bat. But what I want to show you is how I will get even more out of this, right? So I can literally just go through the alphabet, right? So I know that A produces uh, how to sing and play guitar, how to sing the song, how to sing a cappella. B produces how to sing better, how to sing beautifully, how to sing beginner. C produces how to sing clearly, how to sing country, how to sing correctly. This is pretty cool. You just keep on going down the alphabet, right? And you're going to get all of these um, interesting auto suggests um, based on what that next letter is going to be. Now, there are a few other things that you could do. You can use the asterisks. I called that keyword stretching. Um, you can do some some other sort of like things like at the beginning um, putting an asterisk at the beginning whoops can't type right now um, stuff like that but today I'm just going to focus on putting different letters after each one right so now that I've got um, the letter G for example let's just use this one um, I'm going to take a screenshot using my Mac and using Windows, you can just use the screenshot tool. And I'm just gonna take that screenshot. Now I'm going to go over to this tool called Screenshot OCR, and I'm going to just paste um, my screenshot into here. Okay, so now I've just clicked that, and then you, now I can see my screenshot is there. I'm going to change this to text at the bottom, and I'm gonna say process whole image. And now it just takes those um, uh, that image and makes that all into to um, to words or to to actual text. Um, so now I can just go through the alphabet, get your VA to do this. It'll take them ten minutes to to do that. You know, again, you could do this automated, but um, this is not something you have to do all the time. So this could just be enough for you. And once I have that, I'm going to have a very long list of how to sing keywords here, right? So I've gone through the entire alphabet and, and then some, and then I've got 177 um, keywords um, on my list. Now, from there, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to export just column A into a CSV, and I'm going to upload it into my favorite keyword clustering tool, keyword Cupid by Lefteris Sulis. Lefteris is an awesome guy. He's a data scientist. He's created keyword Cupid. And I'm going to show you just basically how, how it works. So um, we're going to create the project, how to sing, and then I'm going to go to new report. Um, my report name, I can just name that whatever. Um, for data, data source, I'm going to say custom. Keywords only. Report size is going to be uh, the number of rows, so 178 rows, and then I'm going to upload that CSV that has keywords at the top and then only the keywords. I'm not going to upload something with all of this stuff, just a raw um, sheet. And then 
Uh, what you can also do um, with Keyword Cupid is turn on SERP Spy. You're going to use a little bit more credits for this, but it's going to get things like the average word count for each of these clusters, how many H2s, just a bunch of imp valuable on-page information for each one. Then you can put your actual URL in there and uh, just kind of go from there. All right, so uh, pretty cool. Um, after this goes to work, um, if you have a huge report in Keyword Cupid, it could take like 12 hours if you had like 20,000 keywords or 40,000 keywords or whatever. Uh, but in this case, uh, this shouldn't take very, very long since it's only 178 keywords. But what can you get out of this? I wanna show you guys. This is how those uh, keywords look after the Keyword Cupid report is done. So you'll see how to sing good, how to sing beautifully, how to sing better, how to sing correctly, how to sing naturally. All these keywords are grouped um, to this, to this uh, page theme, right? If we look at um, how to sing and play guitar, all these guitar type keywords are grouped together. Sorry, all these, um, here the guitar keywords are grouped together, how to sing a high note keywords are grouped together, um, how to sing country are all grouped together. Um, it's pretty freaking cool, right? You can take all of these auto suggest keywords, throw them in Keyword Cupid, cluster them together, and start creating content to target all of these different um, long tail keywords that are a result of typing the alphabet in here. So that's the real tip out of today's um, note. Uh, basically, we'll get you all the links to this stuff in the description, the OCR tool, Keyword Cupid, um, and then just this strategy will be all covered in the note. And uh, let me know how it goes. I hope it works well for you. And again, if you want more tips like this, just head over to seonotebook.com, subscribe. Every Tuesday, you'll get an email with these tips. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get alerted when there's a new video. All right, well, I'll leave it at that. Take care and thanks.